Hello there, my name is Peter Thompson and in this DVD I'm going to show you how to hold the club just with your right hand. To assist me in explaining this to you, I'm going to use this little golf club that I made about 35 years ago. It's about 12 inches long, it has a wooden head and I filed the face down so there is no loft, it has zero loft and by having no loft we can see exactly where the face is pointing all of the time without the complications of the loft angle. To hit the ball straight it's pretty obvious that the club face has to go through straight. Straight is square. It's the same thing. If you hold the club with your right hand correctly then the club face will remain square throughout the entire swing. If for whatever reason your right hand is too far underneath the golf club, too far around to your right, then automatically what's going to happen is this. Your right hand will twist to where it should be, so the right hand is now in the right place, but unfortunately the club face, the bit that hits the golf ball, is in the wrong place. If for whatever reason your right hand goes too far around to your left, too far over the top, then the opposite will occur. Your right hand will twist all by itself and the face will open back to a good right hand grip and the face remains square. If you open the face because your right hand grip is in the wrong place, then you'll increase the loft angle and the ball will go out to your right. If you close the face, you will decrease the loft angle and the ball will go to your left. Hence, high fades, high slices and low hooks. We need the ball to be hit straight with the face square so the height of the shot will depend on the loft angle. We also need to hold the club with the right hand correctly so that in the swing your wrist can hinge. That's a hinge. My right hand will hinge the club back ab about 90 degrees, which is average. Not normal, by the way, just average. I have pupils who can hinge their wrists only 60 degrees because their wrists are quite stiff. Other pu pupils of mine can hinge their wrists back so the club is about 150 degrees. Oh. So anything from 60 to 150 is normal. The average is 90, but then 90 isn't normal, simply the average. Your wrist will hinge, but only as far as your wrist will hinge. And don't try and hinge more than you can do, because if you do, your right hand will come off the goal. The wrist hinge is important because it increases the club head speed. Hinge, unhinge, the speed is increased. With the poor grip, let's say the right hand is too far underneath, then your wrist simply won't hinge, so there's less club head speed, and the club face is pointed in the wrong direction. So good right hand grip allows you to hinge, unhinge, and increase the speed of the club head. Also good right hand grip will allow you to swing your right hand through, more or less parallel to the ground, until the ball's gone, in which case the loft angle of the golf club will hit the ball at the right height. So hit the ball forward, keeping this angle more or less intact. I call this the slight kink, slight kink in the wrist, and we keep the kink as we go through. If you lose the kink that way, then the club head's going upwards and if you increase it too far then the club head will be de-lofted so we need to try and keep the kink as you go through the ball. We don't want you to hit the ball down. Hitting the ball down will not make the ball go up. The ball goes upwards because of the loft angle. So we don't hit the ball down we don't hit the ball upwards, 
we hit the ball forwards. The key key word is forward and then the loft angle sends the ball upwards and depending on the length of the shaft the club head is increased or decreased so then you get the correct flight of the golf ball because you hit the ball forward not down not upwards simply forward to be more specific about the grip palm face are the same you want the palm to represent the face of the golf club to do that we have what I call the two finger test in this case these are the two fingers in question middle two fingers base and middle two fingers go nicely down the back of the club and then you simply wrap your right hand over it's a two finger test base the two fingers back of the club wrap the right hand over that's, that's what you need to do really You'll also slightly move the first finger down the club, so there's a slight gap between the first and second fingers. We call this a trigger finger, you may have heard of that. The trigger finger allows you to keep the club head going through straight after impact. So a small gap in there, and because there is a small gap in there, this knuckle's gone down the grip slightly, so you'll find that the first knuckle, the first finger, is slightly below the left thumb only slightly maybe half an inch at the most so a slight gap in here first knuckle further down than the left thumb no gap between the thumb and the first finger by the way no gap in here at all and the club is held in the base of the middle two fingers then wrap the hand round and that will then allow you without too much difficulty keeping the glove face nice and square square means straight and there's your right hand grip base of the middle two fingers small gap between first finger second finger first knuckle lower down the grip than the thumb and no gap between the thumb and the first finger you will then be able to hinge unhinge and keep the face square and keep the club head going through nice and low and parallel to the ground when the loft angle hits the ball upwards. So there, right hand grip. Always think of the right hand as being the face of the club. That's that's how I try and think about it. It's that. So the right palm will go through parallel to the target line, and the face will go through straight, and your right palm will go through parallel to the target line. So, the face, right palm, one and the same. Check your own grip and see if your right hand follows the ideas I've suggested to you. And if they do, well, that's great. You're probably a pretty good golfer then. And if it doesn't, then maybe consider changing to a better right hand grip. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much.